The cool part about this job is any given morning you can rub shoulders with some really cool people. This guy right here I've known for a lifetime <laughs> is Pastor Miles McPherson. Pastor Miles McPherson, is, normally you'd be the marquee of this interview. You'd be topping the marquee, but you have two very special guests. I'm kind of interested in why, how you guys got hooked up. Well, Matt Bradley and Nate Mensa go to our church, and they obviously played in the NC2A tournament to the final game and uh, for San Diego State. We're so proud of them. We're going to have them at our church Sunday, 9 and 11, sir, at the 9 11 o'clock service at Point Loma. Everyone's welcome to come on down. You guys got to hear their story. Well, it's an ex I get to get hooked up with the young people. I, mean, I, I know I know you do it all the time, and I, I guess I want to verbalize this, but but it gives you a great feeling when you see young men like this who have uh, they're older than their years, are they not? Uh, they're mature, they're successful. Obviously, we saw them do what we all thought was impossible, right. and it was amazing, and uh, and they were doing it for the glory to God. So we're going to hear about that. All right, you mind if I talk to them a little bit? Go, go for it. All right, I'm going to swing over this way. Uh, Young man, congratulations on an incredible run. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, has have you put the basketball down now, or are you just are you actually working out more? I put it down for a little bit, but I got back to work out again. But the main focus is like just come here, give Jesus the praise, and ensure uh, my fellow youth that Jesus can do what He has done in my life for them also. And the fact that you had such visibility over the course of a three-week period does that make you your message even more credible with young people? Yes, uh, Jesus is the way, and the truth, and the light, and the gospel that he came to deliver to us still reigns. And for me as a young person, uh, I have to carry the baton that uh, Pastor, like our Pastor Mouse has been carrying on for years, to pass it on to my fellow friends and people that look up to me as a basketball player. And believing is a big part of succeeding, is it not? Yeah, believing is the uh, key. Uh, believing in something greater than yourself, which is uh, the Lord himself always grants us victory in times like this. And what happens next for you athletically? Uh, Basketball-wise, I'm, I'm still working out and hoping uh, and praying that uh, God will bless me with all the blessings that he has for the next future. All right, let me slide in here. Hey, How you doing? it's an honor to meet you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, first of all, that incredible run and what a special team it was. Yeah, yeah, no, it was a really special run, a uh, special season, and you know, I'm just thankful for the platform it's put me on to just reach out to people, connect, you know, share my testimony, which is, you know, life before Jesus, how I was affected, how it is now, since then, you know, having a relationship with Jesus, fellowshipping with people such as Pastor Miles, Nate, and just everybody, and the connections it's put me into has just been magnificent. And how did you hook up with Pastor Miles McPherson? Just by attending? Uh, just by attending, you know, anybody's welcomed, uh, you know, we're going to share, you know, how we stepped into church uh, our, for our first times, you know, uh, services 9-11 at, you know, uh, The Rock. So, yeah, anybody's welcome. And, you know, we were two guys just looking for a direction. We stepped into church and, got, you know, got saved. Well, that's what kind of makes the team so unique is the sum of the parts or the, the whole was greater than the sum of the parts, was not it? Right. It took a lot of faith to get to where we got to. Championship game, nobody expected us to be there. So, uh, you know, God definitely played a part in that. We stayed faithful, and we were for each other, and I think that's what it mattered. And what is your, basket Athletics, no matter how, how long you can make it run, unless you're somebody who plays for 20 years in the pros or something, athletics is finite. But what you're doing now is lives forever, does it not? Yeah, uh, this is everlasting. You know, uh, you know, all the success that comes with basketball is very temporary. But what we're trying to share, you know, come Sunday is that there's something bigger. There's something bigger than winning games. It's actually having a connection with God, uh, Jesus Christ, and, you know, fellowship with people that are like-minded. So, uh, yeah, we just want to spread the news and, you know, show, show how thankful we are. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much, guys, for coming in, Pastor Miles. Uh, Again, these guys are wise beyond their years, are they not? Amazing, amazing. Especially for someone in your, in your line of work. Well, you know, 40 years ago, that was me. And to see these young guys have a platform that's global. I mean, I think they played in front of 80,000 people on that, that day. Millions on television. Yeah. Millions on television. So to see them mature enough to share that, you leverage that platform uh, for good is, uh, is amazing. And usually, you know, there could be blowback for people that follow the path and get on the path and a lot of people say oh come on let's go out and party or take you in a different direction that maybe it is not as spiritual the fact that they could stand strong speaks to their character does not yeah a lot of my friends who went that route uh, after i left that route are dead they're not here anymore yeah you know and uh it's sad to say and, and some of my buddies that i play with 
you know, I'm, which I'm still reaching out to. Their lives are they're struggling, so I'm just trying to be a, be a light to them and be an encouragement to them. All right. So quickly promote the event. Nine o'clock, eleven o'clock a.m. Sunday at the Rock in Point Loma. Nine eleven. Everyone's welcome. These guys are going to be sharing their story, and all the young athletes coming out, coming out and find out what's what life's really all about.